I was able to sign my offer letter. But here's some bad news. Um, when it's my truth, I own, I speak, it don't make sense now. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Desiree Simone, and I'm back with another video. Hey, y'all. So I know it's been a minute. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. But let me get y'all caught up real quick. So what is today's video about? Well, I am preparing for a new season in my life. Why do you ask? Well, your girl just got her first big girl job, <laughs> period. It only took me about like five years after graduating college to get my career job. You know, it's, it's, it's whatever, you know. But no, on a serious note, I am actually really, really excited. To give y'all a heads up, this video is recorded in a span of like a month. This video will insist of a lot getting this room together. The top priority really was to take down my hair. Not this hair, this is future me. I'm gonna be actually featuring Jobby Coffee. So you guys will get my review from a non-coffee drinker. Plus my parents reviewed it and then my girl Leah and my man Cortland. As you guys know, fall is here and majority of my clothes was in Fort Wayne. So I did travel back home. I needed to go over my finances. I don't know how y'all feel about unboxings, but I love them. And of course I go over my job description description what I'll be doing and etc because there's a lot go ahead and pause this video get you something to drink some tea some wine whatever because it's gonna be a pretty long video <laughs> I tried to narrow it down as best of my ability okay hopefully this sparks some ideas of how you can prepare for your new season in your life but I hope you guys enjoy today's video please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you don't miss any more of my videos and give us a thumbs up if you like videos like this let's get on to the video there's a lot of things I need to get done my start date is October 10th today is September 19th so I am just trying to get maintenance stuff done like this hair that I've had in for I think two to three months at this point I got it done for rolling loud which was July 21st and I got my hair done that week so literally it's been a minute and there's a reason why I have this on because my hair is like frizzy and sticking up it's time to take this hair down so that's my top priority today drinking this new product that Javi coffee sent me that I'll go over with you guys right after this so I'll be needing to go back to my hometown in Fort Wayne because I need to get my fall boots these are my fall sweaters and switching out stuff taking whatever else I'm just not using here that I've noticed because fall is here already y'all Wow so while I'm going home, I'm gonna need to go do a couple errands, get some work done on my car. Another thing is I want to kind of rearrange my room a little better, clean off this desk, because I know I'll be getting equipment from my job, which I will go over with you guys a little later of what my job will be. And I'm so excited because the content's gonna be changing on this channel. I'll be doing more day in the life and stuff. But another thing is I do want to make like a budget list because I do have a big trip coming up next year and I just need to write down everything I'm paying for you know and then I know that I'll have more money coming in with my full-time good paying job now and I'll have benefits I'm gonna have to start setting appointments for my annual doctor there's a whole lot of things y'all that I gotta do and I want to try to make a set schedule before I start and maybe I can still implement it hopefully but yeah uh, that was a long intro let's get to it because it's one o'clock and I have not started my hair yet but first Let's go downstairs, show you guys a grocery haul, and let's make this coffee. So I went to about four different places. Majority of this stuff is for me to be able to make my coffee. I do not drink coffee. And if I am gonna drink coffee, maybe I should buy the stuff that I would want in it, that I think that I would like. So we're gonna start off with Trader Joe's. This I think is kind of like a popular creamer that they have. This is their non-dairy oat creamer, brown sugar flavor. It's only $1.99 there, literally. You get about like 32 servings per container. Now, Walmart. So I did get some apple cider vinegar. It's not the Bragg's one, but I looked at the ingredients, it's literally the same exact thing. And this was like $3 less, and your girl's on a budget right now, so yes. I'm actually gonna be doing a mask on my hair because your girl has not washed her hair since uh, July. 
Well, I got some ground cinnamon, but I forgot the whipping cream to make it like aesthetically pleasing. So uh, I just have ground cinnamon now. Got some caramel syrup from Hershey's. This one seemed like less amount of added sugar. So normally I would have almond milk. I don't think that it goes better with oat milk. Got the Oatsum Organic Oat Milk Original. And that is it from Walmart. And I literally went to Ross for one thing. I got the Skinny Syrup in their flavor caramel. I think you guys can understand. I like caramel. <laughs> Lastly, I will not want to leave the house once I start doing my hair because I feel like this is going to be an all day process. Got me some Panera and their charged lemonade. I think this is the Fiji cranberry. I miss my cocoa butter kisses. Hope you smile when you listen. Ain't no competition. It's competing. Okay, so as I told you guys, I am a non-coffee drinker. I've just never been a fan of coffee because I never knew what to actually get and what I liked. But I did find out when I was a healthcare worker that I was like, okay, I like caramel. So when Javi reached out to me, I was like, okay, this gives me the room to be able to share my perspective from a non-coffee drinker that would like to like coffee, would like to try different recipes, find my drink. <laughs> So if you guys have not heard of Javi coffee, it is a micro dose coffee concentrate. So it is concentrated coffee. Literally all you have to do is add one or two teaspoons into your drink. So you can add it to water or you can add it to your milk. And as you guys saw, I have my oat milk because they suggested that on their website. You do get 30 servings. I got it in caramel. One of their popular ones is original, but I knew if I wanted to try coffee, I needed something with some flavor, with some taste, something. But they do have other flavors such as their decaf, French vanilla, mocha coffee, even limited editions. Literally Javi made it as easy as possible for you to be able to make a simple drink or even a more unique drink to your liking. Javi is made of 100% of, let me not get this wrong, your Arabica beans. On their website, they actually have like recipes on different type of coffees that you want. You can make a cold brew coffee, you can make a hot coffee. I'm using the basic terms because I still don't know all of them. I think I've talked about it enough. Let's go ahead and try this out. See if non-coffee drinker likes Javi coffee in the caramel flavor. Let's go. So one other thing I forgot to say, when I did get my box, they did give me some copper straws, if I'm saying that right. I used to say metal, but I don't know. I think they're copper. One comes with a bent one and one straight one and a brush to clean it with. And a cute bag to travel with, of course. So I did go ahead and go the extra mile and go on Amazon and get those aesthetic cups. Yes, and with the bamboo straw and a clear straw. Who, okay, am I legit or what? Do you know how cute that'll be? Anyways, and I did go ahead and get those spirit looking ice. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So you guys can see. You keep it refrigerated after opening. Use within six weeks of opening. Start with one teaspoon per six fluids ounce of liquid. Do not drink from the bottle or consume the whole bottle in one serving. How much caffeine is in here? That'd be nice to know. The expiration date is down here, 8, 9, 23. We're gonna go ahead and add the caramel. All right, let's do what they do. Okay. Yeah, did I do something? Now let's take some of this oat milk. Ding. Right there is good enough. Taking one teaspoon. So if you like your stuff stronger, then do two teaspoons. But we're gonna start off with one because look, I don't know. smell like coffee. So these are the other two things I will be adding, but before I add them, but let's go ahead and just taste it. Okay, not bad. Smooth, it doesn't have a bad aftertaste either. I am impressed. Hmm, I might be a coffee drinker. But I can definitely taste the caramel. Oh, it tastes so good. Let's go ahead and add the syrup in. Okay. 
Oh, I see how that adds the sweetness into that. I like, hmm. Still got the brown sugar oat creamer. This is literally only $1.99, y'all. Hmm, brown sugar and caramel. Good inquiring taste. I will say that. I still would like to get like some just original oat creamer. So if you guys wanna get your hands on this Javi coffee, go ahead and use my link down below. You will get 20% off your order. But let's chat in the comments. Let me know if you guys are gonna get it. Are you thinking about it? Have you tried it before? Let me know, let's, let's chat. I really do like this. Let me drink this up and then I'm gonna start on my hair. I should get a little bit more stuff. Give me using my pre shampoo detangler that I like. Let's go ahead and turn on handmade tails first. Let me know what season y'all are on. Okay, we good. It's 222. Let's see how long this takes. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. Cause baby, I love you. Why you trying to break us up? Hour later, that's all I have done. I wish I could make you stop. Cause baby, I love you. Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight. I'm gonna 427. You know I can never get it right without you. Last one, 726. Into the light. If I don't get you shoddy, you bring out the sweetness of my life. Go ahead and go in the bathroom and get my hair wet and detangle this hair. Ooh, I have no idea how to do this. Getting water on the floor. <sighs> Struggle is real, y'all. I'm using the Maui hair mask. Using the easy detangler. Done. Get my mask ready too. The Indian healing clay mask and the apple cider vinegar. Maze, I still got hair after all the hair I've taken out. I use this Love Beauty and Planet Hydrating Dream Water Shampoo. I love this little nozzle so I can get right on the scalp, which I needed. The Aunt Jackie's Hovering Conditioner. And then for the leave-in from Brand with the Hearts OMG Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Blend. I think it was my second time using that conditioner, which I actually really liked. The Orlando Pita Play Hair Protectant Spray. I'm about to blow out my hair before I go to bed. I'm using the Foxy Bay Blowout dryer brush. You can see it has bristles. I got it in one of my Fat Fit Fun boxes. Ooh. Okay, this doesn't look the best, but this is, yeah. I'll see you guys in the morning. It's hot. Okay, let's chat. So today's the next day, September 20th, I believe. I'm coming at y'all a little rough, but it's 9.27, almost 9.30. I had a late start today. I was just being lazy just because this hair took forever. It was literally an all day process. I'm still going back and forth if I want to go home today or tomorrow. I didn't go through everything of what I wanted to take home. And obviously that's the whole purpose of me going back. Also, I'm looking at Walmart Spark to see if there are any orders I would like 
to take, but nothing is seeming like a good payout. If you guys are unaware what Walmart Spark is, it's a, another grocery delivery platform, just like Shipped and Instacart, but Walmart Spark just focuses on Walmart and of course Sam's Club, and they added AutoZone. I haven't seen any orders for that one, but I've just been looking. That's really the only reason why I kind of woke up at 7.30, 8-ish, just to see, but wanted to make sure I drink my coffee today first. I did really good this time. It's definitely sweeter than yesterday, so I guess I just need to get my proportions right, but it it is good. So I'm just gonna go through my stuff, like my closets, my drawers, my other drawers that I bought that's not in my room, that's like in the loft area because I don't have much room. Also, we're gonna be opening two packages. One is from Fat Fit Fun and from All True, was formerly known as Causebox. I think it just made me feel better if I unbox it on the camera so I can take the stuff out the box and put it away. You know what I mean? First, let me finish my drink, then wash my face, brush my teeth, and let's get this day started. This is the Fat Fit Fun box. This is the All True box. Both are quarterly subscription boxes that has a lot of lifestyle products such as beauty, home, skincare, fashion, jewelry, and with for at least two years. I know I've been with FabFitFun longer. Now, I don't know if you heard, but All True did go into bankruptcy, but they got bought by another company. So they're back up and running. So I did get like a discount off for my annual membership, which I'm an annual member for both of those, but you can also be a quarterly member. But I do have a discount code down below for you guys to use with somebody off your first box. This is FabFitFun's fall box, actually. So at every box, you do get a magazine that just goes over some of the products, the founders of it. All right, huh, book club for kids. Well, I don't have any kids, uh, but I'll give this to my girl. Never heard of this book club. First item from Daily Concept. This Daily Ham and Mitt Duo. So it gives you a big one and a small one. The small one's for more intimate areas and then the big one's for like the whole body. Cool. People talk about this Nessar, their body wash. I got the one in Eucalyptus. Currently right now I am using another body wash so I'm just gonna keep this one until I run out of my other one. Or I might open it, I don't know. Ooh, yeah. Of course, another coupon for Daily Harvest. I still have not tried Daily Harvest yet. I've tried HelloFresh, which I just been pausing it like every week because I don't have the money yet for that. Then I got this, oh, multifunctional eye, face, and neck tool. It has heat therapy, high power LED, sonic vibrations, microcurrent, smart touch sensor. Cool. That is from Brighton MD. Ooh, okay, so I got the Glow Recipe Watermelon moisturizer. Yeah, I've been seeing so many people loving this. I've been needing like a nice light moisturizer for in the morning. I'm excited to try that from Glow Recipe. Wow. And of course, this one's from Spongel. It's their Eucalyptus Body Wash Infused Buffer. I've got one of these before. But literally, it's your body wash already in there. All you gotta do is wet it underneath the shower and go at it. Next is this vegetable chopper. Yes. I know I'm not cooking a lot, but when I do, it would be nice to have have this vegetable chopper and they gave me this lumify eye drop i don't use eye drop i'm kind of scared to put things in my eyes so i'll give this to one of my friends oh cool this glossier birthday bomb.com basically a lip balm it would probably smell like birthday cake and lastly this one was an add-on this is from babe brow this is an amplifying serum four month supply so it has castor oil and biotin infused you can use use this on your eyebrow. So the value of this Fat Fit Fun Box was $238.95. Now time for All True. Ooh, okay. You guys did not know my favorite color is purple and this is so cute. Another exfoliating mitt. Can never have too many, right? This is their Calm Kit Rituals, supposed to calm and restore. So it has a pause meditation mist and a cooling spot therapy. Ooh. I do need to start meditating because that was on my, my vision board for 2022. And then it says, hello summer. So again, this is their summer box, not their fall one. I believe they're gonna be shipping their fall box at the end of September and the beginning of October. I do already have one pair from them. Okay, the case is different, I love it. These are eco-friendly lens protectors. Whoa. 
Okay, this is from Earth Harbor. It's their Hair Revived Elixir with seaweed and jasmine. I should have used that in my hair. Socks from Barefoot Scientist. Advanced Moisturizing Gel Socks. It's supposed to moisturize and renew. Different. They're like footies. Oh, that is so cool. Definitely feels rubbery inside. I'll use that soon on a self-care day. Got an eyeshadow palette from Sandbar Nomad. Ooh, I have some really pretty shimmery colors. And the biggest thing in the box. Ooh, I don't want to take this out, but this is from Craft It. So this is like one of those weave baskets that you can like put like your perfume, a candle on, really cute. I'm not gonna open it yet because I need to rearrange my room. First, make some room on these surfaces. And that is everything. It is, what time is it? It's 12:19 now. I guess I'll start going through everything to see what I need to take back home. I do need to eat because I did buy my Panera yesterday and I did not eat my Panera yesterday, so. So it's 356, been done. I have everything on the couch in the loft, what I will be taking home. I don't know if I'm gonna leave today, because if I do leave today, it will be at six because there is already traffic here in Indy already. Only two hours away. If not today, it'll be in the morning tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is September 21st. Yeah, I'm actually leaving today. So I already took everything off this couch, put it in my car ready. So this is my outfit, something comfortable. Got these joggers and then got my Crocs. And I do have these in just to give my hair some bounce something. Something, I really don't know what to do with my hair right now. It is 10.10 right now. I'm about to pack up the coffee stuff because I want my mom to try it. My dad's really not a coffee drinker. It is time to go, so I will see you guys there. And I'm back in Fort Wayne. Made it here safely, got hit on at the gas station when I had my rods in, like, bruh, how thirsty can you be? I told my dad that I'm hungry when I was on my way back and they stopped to get my favorite wings, which is wings of ribs, so your girl's about to smash on that. And then we can start going places today. All right. Hungry. All right, y'all, like I told you, my mama's the coffee drinker, so I'ma let her try it. I literally made it the same way like I showed y'all in my other clip, so I'll let you take the first sip. All right. I love it. Oh my God, it's so good. Is it too sweet? For me, it's about where I would like it to be. It is so good. I taste the caramel. It's just like coffee that was freshly made by a barista. Mm. What would you rate this from one to 10? From your other coffees that you drink on a regular basis? Seven. Thank you, my daughter. You're welcome. Cheers. Daddy, you weren't supposed to taste it yet. <sighs> Say your honest opinion, what you think? Now, my dad, we're both saying non-coffee drinkers. He makes it for my mom every morning. Tastes real good, caramel. It's just sweet enough. I couldn't drink it every morning. Every other day, maybe. It would go good, probably with a donut or something. Anything else you want to say or rate it from one to 10, even though there's nothing to really compare it to? 7.5. Yeah. My money, my body, now your own. We're gonna do a haul real quick. So let me show you the stuff I got. This is all from Complete Health. I like the brand Sweat Ethic. So I got my amino trim, my fired up that is going to boost my metabolism, energy and focus and control appetite. I love taking this to give me just some focus, some energy during the day. It is not a pre-workout. And I got my Vita Greens. And then I got the samples. Adrenaline. Yeah, this is one of their pre-workouts. Black Market Cuts. I tried to get the same oat milk from Walmart that I got beforehand, but I couldn't find it. So I just got their great value. I believe this will still be good. And of course, I had to go to Sephora. I got the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer in 46C. I did have a sample of this prior and that really matched and I loved the finish and I just literally just put it with some powder and it looked 
like my skin but just more even then sephora had their matte perfection tinted moisturizer just being nine dollars you guys it's in khaki so i'm gonna go ahead and give this a try i did get some samples their super group matte sunscreen and then the Too Faced concealer in mocha <laughs> Good afternoon, you guys. It is September 22nd. I'm gonna go ahead and just talk to you guys while I do my makeup because I do wanna try up the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20 in 46C. And Sephora, their Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer, color khaki, $9. So while I'm trying out both of those, I wanted to talk to y'all using one size to cure the blur for my primer. So this morning, I made my coffee in a a smaller cup. I also took my Nutriburst, which is my um, liquid multivitamin. If you guys didn't know, I can't swallow pills. I just mentally can't take them. I don't, I don't know. Finally about to take some vitamins. I ran out of mine and this is my mom. So she said I could have it. Nutriburst is a liquid multivitamin. It's with the company Total Life Changes. Only take up to the line in there. It has 72 minerals, 12 vitamins, 22 phytonutrients, 18 amino acids, and 18 vegetables. Literally in this one dose. 32 servings. And I also made my mom the same coffee but hot. So she still has to play around with it since she did buy some with my affiliate link. So she did get 20% off. She got the original, the caramel, and she's going to try the mocha. Happy for her. She really likes it. Morphe translucent setting powder. I did edit a little bit this morning and then my dad made me some breakfast, which was really good. He used to always do that when I was here. We're gonna do a natural look with my bronzer sets from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna take this middle shade, the really the only one that I use for my crease. Today's cold and it sucks because I'm just like, I only brought one pair of jeans and that you guys see i tried to wear my black top i didn't think it was that cropped plus i didn't think it was going to be that cold but i mean i might be okay because i do want to go to the deck which is like an outdoor bar here in fort wayne hope you guys like this angle a lot better i did go ahead and do my eyebrows but i did forget to use the nyx brow glue i'm still getting used to using this product but anyways today i'm not going to too many different places honestly i'm only gonna be going to costco my dad's gonna take me there since they're the ones that have the membership i only have a membership for sam's club so at costco i'm going to be getting their oat milk that comes in the six count all of them are 32 ounces and it's only gonna be 11 dollars and something instead of me paying almost four dollars at walmart i do already have some unsweetened almond milk that i'm still going through that i've had for a long time not expired so I'm gonna try the unsweetened almond milk too, but so far I'm really liking the oat milk. I don't have a little spatula thingy here. Plus I'm going to Target to do a return and then that's it. So he's just taking me to Costco and Target because I need to take my car to get it washed, which is literally really close to my house. And that's on the way to the deck. And then they have a restaurant right next to it, which I wanna get this jambalaya risotto. I really want that. So I'm gonna get a drink and eat that. Let me just tell you guys a little bit about myself, which would make sense up to the part that I tell you guys about my new big girl job. Is that good? Cool, cool, good. A little bit about me. Oh, well, first off, and the most important thing that you guys will see other videos on on this channel is hello my name is Desiree and I'm adopted if you guys are new welcome if you haven't already subscribed please go ahead and do so right now I have been making content about me living with my birth dad for the first time so I started a series on that on my channel plus I started a series of just becoming a better me just becoming a better version of myself just taking you guys through the journey of becoming who I want to be just me figuring out who I am and what my passions and everything is and just trying to stay on it you know I have dreams that I want to pursue and I'm a little hesitant and I believe this one might actually be a part of it just to go back in my past I graduated with my bachelor's degree in business admin I first went to Ivy Tech and got my associate's degree in one year uh, my mom found the program literally right before I graduated because I truly didn't know what I wanted to do throughout the whole college journey I still didn't know what I truly wanted to do if I had a choice now to go to college um, I would have waited a year to figure out what I want to do. Now knowing, I think I would have gone for marketing 
maybe like PR or something like that or even learning how to edit and you know something in that realm because I wasn't doing this in college which I really wish I was because I would have gave y'all so much content your girl was busy I was in the praise dance team I was in the sorority Alpha Chi Omega I would have joined one of the wonderful black sororities but there wasn't a promise that they were gonna be on campus and since I was already a year ahead of my class I only had two years at Indiana State University where I graduated and got my bachelor's degree so it wasn't a promise so I was like okay well I gotta join something so not only did I join a sorority I also joined a business fraternity Delta Sigma Pi and not only that I was in a gospel choir <laughs> so uh yeah if you guys have never been in like an organization like a sorority or a co-ed fraternity which is the business fraternity there are meetings chapters you have to go to once a week there are events you have to attend so it's more than just being an organization you actually got to be a part of it participate i had positions on the board but fast forward after graduating well before i even graduated i worked at jc penney's in Terre Haute, indiana they still couldn't make me full-time which was um and I was like, I'm barely making enough. And that was 2017 still. But then I was still trying to figure out what my passion was. What did I like? Came across this management and trainee program at Buckle. Never stepped foot into Buckle in my entire life until I had that interview. I did get it. He was impressed with me having my degree really i mean i had prior experience in retail but i ended up quitting that job just because i just wasn't happy with it at all funny thing is i think this is from buckle and my shirt from buckle let me go ahead and put this on jeez or you have to twist it oh you got to twist it off <laughs> lord didn't want to break it i'm gonna use the rare beauty tinted moisturizer over here the sephora on this side i'm gonna use a wet sponge so after i quit that job i worked at this call center call center job where i learned how to be a travel agent it was actually working with mx travel so if, so if you have american express card you might know about it if not then uh you should know about it let me put on some more so I learned how to book travel, cancel trips, change names, and basically learn how to code, which was something very new to me. Oh, I was happier at that job than I was at Buckle. I knew I was really good at customer service type of jobs, talking with people, I've always had that skill. Whatever else I need to conceal, I can. I did get a sample of, well, she was very stingy with these samples. This is the Too Faced Concealer and Mocha, I'm giving this a try. But I stayed at that call center for a year and a month and then I tried this marketing spot. I just never put that one on my resume because I didn't stay very long. You know those people at Costco and they're trying to get you to sign up for like direct TV and stuff? Yeah, that's what I was doing and I said, oh no. For you to get out your training program, you had to get a certain amount of people signed up in that week. And I was like, mm, no, no, no. Let's go ahead and put this other one on the other side. So I didn't stay at that job very long. And then I was kind of just jobless for a minute. And then I decided to sign up for Instacart. Also signed up for Shipped. Could be saying these out of order, but those are the two that I was doing. This one looks a little lighter. I don't know, mm -hmm. we'll try. <laughs> It's not bad. I feel like they have about the same coverage. It's just I have more dark spots over here. Too, it's too much. But I was bringing in some good money with Shift and Instacart a week, which was great. You know, you get paid weekly. You get to make your own hours. Plus, that was in the beginning of the pandemic. So it was definitely popular. People definitely appreciated it and tipped you and tipped you, y'all. So I was making some good money with that. Y'all, I probably need to get my top lip waxed soon yes i get that done and i am ashamed i'm just a hairy person but i was doing that and then my parents kind of got fed up with me doing that even though i was bringing in money they're like well you need to get an actual job that's just nice very pretty one of my past friends just got a promotion at the hospital and so I'm just like well are you guys hiring then of course they were hiring so i started working we were contracted to work at the hospital through another company it was the company called care through so i was a cta a certified tech assistant so i had to do patient care i also charted for the registered nurses so i was only there for i want to say eight months just because the contract ended but before the contract ended the nurses 
coaches, the nurse managers, the leads, saw that I was helping people naturally and stuff and just doing what I would normally do. You need help, you have a question, I answer your question. I knew the information, quick learner. So they start to see that and they asked me if I wanted to become an ambassador, which that allows me to train new hires. I worked on telly, just to let you guys know. I said yes to that. I made an extra dollar for training whenever I trained. So I trained them on what we do when we come in, the schedule, how we take care of the patient and also charting for the registered nurses. How do you do that? What does that look like? When's the best time to do it? How to do it efficiently? Everything along those lines. And to find out that I actually really like training people. I actually really enjoyed that. Just taking the morphine. Well, I just like to use a little sponge. It was just nice to be able to teach somebody something and to know what I'm talking about. And for me to just learn like, okay, what's the best way to teach somebody? I've learned that I'm a kinesthetic learner and a visual. So I learned that when I was being trained, I started getting ideas of like, okay, maybe they should do it like this. Cause that, that didn't work. <laughs> so I kind of had like my own ideas that could better help the training process for new hires. So I actually ended up liking that, but but then, like I said, the contract to end it because of our turnover rate and everything, yada, yada. Before that ended, we had a choice to have the actual hospital onboard us and work on that floor or work on any other floor in the hospital or they can place us somewhere else within the hospital. Like I said, I have a bachelor's degree in business admin. So I did ask the nurse manager, hey, is there another department that I could possibly work and use my degree? Because I still truly haven't used my degree, I felt. We found a position in registration. Okay, y'all, time is ticking, but I did not bring my bronzer thing. Oh Lord, what do I do? My last previous full-time job was working at that same hospital and registration this is not the brush I like to use y'all which was definitely less mentally and physically exhausting because like I said our contract was ending because of the high turnover rate meaning that we had less people on the floor to help when I started we were only having to handle four to six patients then it started to become eight and twelve which is half the floor and that's very hard three 12-hour shifts in a week <sighs> Yeah. Working in the hospital was never like a passion for me. I just knew that I could handle it. Not only handle our patients, we're having to help other people on top of that. So it just became really hectic. And I was just like, mm, I'm not trying to stay on this floor anyways. And I'm not trying to do the same type of work. I give props to those that do. And I do thank you. It just wasn't for me. Then got the job downstairs in registration department. Did that, just wasn't happy with the pay. I can tell y'all the pay, I don't mind, shoot. I only was making $14 an hour. Yeah, with the bachelor's degree, I only making $14 an hour. I was living here, literally in this room at that time. And I just wasn't happy, truthfully. And I just wasn't happy with the friends I had. And I just wanted a fresh start. So that's why I moved to Indy because I made some friends up there, plus my man lived up there which I have a whole I have like two videos on how we met and everything so definitely go watch that video so did my birth family fast forward to now I ended up getting a message on LinkedIn I'm not going to share the company yet because I haven't even signed the offer letter yet since they are being merged with another company at this time just know that I am with a company that has really great benefits the pay is wonderful. I'm able to travel. So basically what I'll be doing is training VA, so veteran affairs staff members at their hospitals of how to properly use the system. So if you guys were listening, when I was learning to chart for registered nurses and training others to chart the system that we use, I'm literally working for that company and working in that same system that I trained others. And that's what I know so far. But with this, I get to travel. They pay for my flight they pay for my rental car they give me a stipend while I'm there I am so excited about this job I start October 10th like I said earlier so that's my new job I do want to uh, make day in a life I'm still trying to figure out how to title it because the title of my position is not really searchable on YouTube like people don't put what my title is but here is my look let me put on some lip stuff. All right, you guys, so it's 3.39. So I went into Marshalls. Um, 
I didn't find anything. And then instead of getting my food at Don Hall's old gas house, which is right there at the deck where what I was about to eat was that jambalaya risotto. Your girl looked at the menu, it was $24. Like who? No. So I went to Burger Fi and I got me a double Burger Fi. And it's one thing that I wish that Indy had because I feel like Burger Fi would thrive in indie but anyways about to head over to the deck now it's about to be four o'clock i think that's a good time i'm out here in a sweater because it is like 67 still right now let's go ahead and go and uh go on this solo date all right y'all so i've made it back home yeah i'm about to eat watch some youtube and edit and relax for today i think tomorrow i'm not gonna leave until about four what's up y'all so i'm behind the camera because i'm looking ridiculous <laughs> i just got back today so i got my girl leah here hey. i'm about to have my friends try this it is late at night so i appreciate you got you girl appreciate you i made her the same drink like i've made it already before but i'm gonna have her sniff the javi concentrate that's in caramel just for her to tell y'all what she thinks Ooh. It was like rich and it's very sweet. Oh, it smells good. I'm ready to just drink it out the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Would you tell them, are you a coffee drinker or not? Oh yes, I love coffee. And what do you normally like drink? I normally drink like really sweet. I'm not really big on bitter, but I like sweet like caramel macchiatos or just caramel frappes or caramel, 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 I love caramel. I was all about just hot coffee, but lately these past couple years I've been really into iced coffees. Let the people know what you think. It is a bit strong, but it's not strong towards like super overpowering to where I can't drink. I can chug this. I like it. You know what? One thing I did not do. Wait, hold up. Give me back. I forgot to oh. serve. Forgot to serve. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> hold on. All right, we're back. We got the caramel syrup this time. I'm feeling these ice cubes. They are so cute. Look, it's like a little flower for my coffee. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Let me get back to you. <laughs> One out of 10, what would you rate it? 11. Mm. This is good. Not for real, I'm not even like just saying it. This is really good. I highly recommend this. Thank you, girl, thank you. Yeah. What's up, y'all? I'm behind the camera. I'm looking a little rough today, but I got my man, Cortland, here. You already met him. All right, so he's about to try the Javi coffee hot. So I literally just have hot water in one teaspoon. We'll see what he thinks about it. I will say, not bad at all. I think it's pretty good in terms of like, it's not like in your face, like, whoa, but it's like got enough boldness to it where it's like, oh, the flavor is there. The caramel is in the background, it's not too much. I drink black coffee, guys. I gave up all the creamers and sugars a long time ago. I will say I do like my coffee a little more bold, but that's just a preference thing. I think this coffee actually tastes good. Probably give it a solid eight in terms of coffee. I'd say it's pretty high. This is actually pretty good, convenient if you're on the go and you just, you know, it's not bad. Good, uh, good afternoon, actually. It's literally been like almost two weeks now. So, hello. Um, I've really just been relaxing, doing some organizing, which I'll show you guys. Bought a new drawer from Ikea because I wanted to get all this stuff off my desk because I know that my job is gonna give me a laptop and as much stuff was on here, it just, it just wasn't gonna work. Okay, and excuse the way I look. I thought putting on a hat would make me look a little better, but I might actually just put back on my bonnet. So yeah, I bought some new drawer knob on Amazon. Had the package today, which I'll open up for you guys. That's how I change it up because I wanted to match the aesthetic in here. But right now I am about to eat first. I need to make a to-do list. I need to also edit. Cause right now it's like over an hour long and I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to sit and watch my video for an hour long since y'all still getting to know me. I don't know, but I'm about to eat, watch me some YouTube, and then put my makeup stuff away and my jewelry. See y'all after I'm done eating, which my laundry is going right now. It's literally perfect. Vlog is strong with an unboxing. All right, so I am done. 
put you like this then. Ugh, this bump. Anyway, so I put my bonnet back on because look, it was kind of hurting my forehead. Made my to-do list while I was eating. I just put my second load in from the laundry, so that's going. Oh, and one thing I wanna talk to you guys about was my boy Dom told me about Bumble and no, not it's not just a dating app. It's also an app that you can find your BFF. More friends. I only got one girlfriend here, y'all. Uh, I mean, I have another one, but we don't do that much together. I'm just trying to find more like-minded women. So one of them reached out to me because we matched on Bumble, which I'm so excited. I have not responded to her yet, but I'm about to now. And then they always want you to upgrade on Bumble. It's so annoying. So she said, hey, pretty girl, how is your week going? Oh, she is so pretty too. I remember this. Okay, okay. I don't really know what to say. I'm gonna say, hey, girl because she is gorgeous. My week has been very adventurous. Adventurous since I just came back from Chicago. How's your week going? Going so far. Are you that type of person that goes over the text like two, three times? To just make sure you have no spelling errors. Look, this is first impression, okay? I want you to know that I am smart. Hey gorgeous, my week has been very adventurous since I just came back from Chicago with my friends. How's your week going so far? Oh my gosh, you can actually video chat with your friend or the new person. Oh my God, that's so cool. All right, here it is. Dang, they got it like this. I did measure it because these are smaller than the knobs that I bought for my dresser, but they're the same shape, same color. Yup. Please, please fit. Okay, it fits. All right, let's go ahead and change up the knobs. And it comes with some more of these, which I don't think I'm gonna need. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. check off putting my jewelry makeup stuff that was in my purse away now i don't think my laundry is done yet before i start editing i do want to make a budget list i do want to make sure that i put on there get a passport either this month it will be before my birthday because your girl will be going out of the country next year in the summer so i'm excited about that I'm trying to figure out how i want to do this I might just make an excel hey guys so it is another day the last thing you guys saw was me about to do my budget list it is october 8th i thought wow i'm getting ready to go out i would just update you on a ton of things that's been going on but i just went over all my expenses that i have to pay each month i now have to start paying rent so i added that to my list but i can't truly make a budget budget list until i start getting paid and see how much they're going to take out once I get that all situated, I'll definitely do a video if you guys want that. Sorry about the lighting. This is the best I could do. It's literally 745. All right. So one, I'm looking at my agenda. Just letting y'all know. November 30th. So I was able to sign my offer letter, which I was so happy about. Two things that I wanted to start up before I started working was get a personal trainer, which I got a personal trainer. I go to Vasa Fitness. So I see her on Wednesday at nine o'clock but I believe that's definitely going to change once I start working and I wanted to start going to therapy so I am also with BetterHelp not sponsored I've just heard so many good things of course a lot of sponsorship videos so maybe one day I'll get sponsored by them but I had my first session two days ago which was great she's awesome so I'm excited to see how this journey goes but here's some bad news um so I just got an email maybe like three to four days ago of the new start date. So the start date did get pushed back because like I said earlier, the companies are being merged together. So that's why it took so long to get the offer letter. Finally got the drug screen yesterday, which I'm going to take the drug test Monday. But the new start date is October 24th. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, I can't do nothing about that. Yesterday, I went to see Gibeon for the first time. He is an amazing singer. Like, y'all, he can sing. There is no auto-tune on his music. 
But he was here in Indy last night. My man bought our tickets, so we went to see him. Shouldn't have wore the shoes that I wore because my feet was hurting because there were no seats. I've been matching with some other girls on Bumble. I'm actually about to meet one of them tomorrow for brunch, which I'm excited about. I was also thinking of doing a 6 a.m. challenge, maybe like the week before, like the week of. And then my light turns off. This is really the best I can do, y'all. Because literally the light above don't work. It's not connected for some reason. And then the other light is going to be like really orange. So sorry about the lines. But anyways, uh, to quickly just say that I don't even know what I was saying. This eyebrow looks so much better than this one. Yeah, I'm just thinking of doing the 6 a.m. challenge because I do want to start waking up earlier because since I have a personal trainer, hopefully her schedule is available for me to be able to see her earlier in the mornings during the week. I would rather have my weekends off. But again, that's gonna change after my five weeks of training because I'm gonna start, they're gonna start having me travel, which I absolutely want. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure that out that part i'm proud of myself for having a personal trainer i did go work out with my man the other night which he goes at night sometimes and he goes in the morning sometimes it just kind of depends at least his eyebrow looks good so i think i've updated y'all enough um but definitely stay tuned for the 6 a.m challenge it'll make me more productive i've naturally been getting up around 7 38 but i want to get up earlier i think my training will be 9 to 5 p.m anyway so all right so i think i'm going to go ahead and end off this video i hope you guys have been enjoying the whole preparation vlog i'm obviously not done so if i get more then i'll go ahead and add it before I close this out because I do want to get my eyebrows waxed, maybe some eyelashes. But I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. If you guys just love watching videos, just coming along with me through my journey because this is a new season in my life, baby. And I am so excited. I cannot be more excited. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Like no